Hey, this is James from Emergent. Um, wanting to give you a little bit more activities that you can do at home. Today we're going to be talking about how to use bean bags. Now, a lot of times when they're at home, they may not have actual bean bags, but they can use rolled up socks um, or little stuffed animals or soft um, squishy balls, things that people that may have at home that they can use. So here's a couple of them that we have talked about maybe in the past. This one, Dr. Kurt Backstrom from over in Olympia, Washington taught us this um, 2020 beanbag toss. The first time that they're gonna do this, you want them to look at the beanbag and their chin, their nose, and their eyes all works together. So the beanbag is gonna make an arc and they're gonna be tossing it, but their head and their eyes and their nose should be following it. And as it comes down, it comes all the way down to their hand then their chin, their nose, and their eyes have all made that arc with it. So to demonstrate, they would just start in one hand and then make sure that the head's coming up, make sure that the eyes are coming over, and they're just following it. Now, if you can see that through the way they have their camera set up, that is great. If you're not, if you just have the parent or whoever is with them, be able to follow it. But you do want to make sure you have that good arch. I kind of talk about the McDonald's arch, okay? So they're taking one side of that, or the St. Louis arch. They're getting that good arch pattern. And again, from the chin down, when it's looking down, to the chin and nose up, and the eyes following it all the way over. Once they've done that, where their chin, their nose, everything is moving together, and they're really working that labyrinthian system, everything's moving with inside their ear canal, then they're going to do it just with their eyes. So their eyes look over and down, but their nose and their chin remains looking forward. And now they're going to do 20 of them again. And they're going back and forth, making sure that only their eyes are going back and forth. So that's a good one to start with. After they've done that, I introduce a second thing bag. And so now this is just kind of a coordination activity. It's good for periphery, being able to know where the beanbag is in periphery. And what they're going to do is they're going to be walking and tossing the beanbag. So the goal is, is that the toss, catch, and step is all together. So they toss, step, catch. Toss, step, catch. And so now you can see that it begins to work. And we're doing this ipsilaterally. So they're doing the same sides. So I toss with the left, step with the left. Toss with the right, step with the right. And so we're just working that back and forth. This could be a little bit of a struggle for them to begin with, so it's just gonna be the toss and catch. Once they're able to do that, then I would load it with a cognitive load. So A, B, C, D, Edward, Frank, Ger um, Gerbil, whatever it is that you wanna be able to add to it. Once they can do same size, then I'm gonna to go to that bilateral, okay, contralateral. So we're gonna go right and left, left and right. And again, after they get confident in it, and it should be pretty confident. You know, you don't want jerky movements, you want nice and smooth movements. They can be looking just ahead so that they're looking past, they're using their periphery to tell where things are in space or they can actually look at the beanbag if they find it easier. I usually tend to want them to get it to where they're looking towards the, where they're going and using their periphery to tell where in space the beanbags are. Again, you can load it. Once they get it, you can have them doing opposites, A, B, C, back and forth, any way that you want, okay? So these are two activities with beanbags that they can do on their own. They don't really need to have a special helper, except maybe watching to see that their chin, nose, and everything's moving on the one activity, and then that they're getting a smooth, steady rhythm with the second activity. So hope this helps, and enjoy VT. Bye.